The names in the running to lead the Colorado Republican Party suggest that it might just lurch from fairly inconsequential to practically invisible. This is a state where voters have decisively rejected conspiracy theories about election rigging and the January 6th insurrection. Yet five potential candidates to lead the Colorado Republican Party all have a history of losing elections and pushing those conspiracy theories. Indicted election denier and Mesa County Clerk Tina Peters may run for state party chair. She just lost the GOP primary for secretary of state. If the people want me, that's that's great. I will stand up and serve. Peters ally Casper Stockham is already in the race. He's lost three bids for Congress and blamed Antifa for the January 6th insurrection. Greg Lopez just lost the GOP primary for governor. During that race, he said he would pardon Peters if she was convicted of tampering with election equipment. And Lopez said he wanted to do away with one person, one vote, proposing a system by which Republicans, with far fewer votes, would win elections quite easily in Colorado. The 2020 election, it was rigged. Absolutely rigged. Eric Odlin of Jefferson County lost his race for Congress after saying the 2020 election was rigged. He's also been talked about as a potential candidate for state chair. Dave Williams led the fight against radical Democrats and rhinos, exposed election fraud. State Representative Dave Williams of El Paso County claimed without evidence that more than 5,000 dead people voted in Colorado. He lost a GOP primary for Congress after a judge ruled he could not appear on the ballot as Let's Go Brandon. Williams told me he'll decide whether to run for party chair early next year. Whether Republicans will embrace reality remains to be seen. Colorado is not a blue state. It's been cheated for so long.